did you get here? I uh, believe in the product. We are a zero emission, um, all electric work vehicle company. And um, I saw the product about seven years ago and I had to be a part of it. And about two years ago, we came out with a production unit um, and I approached Gary and said, I'd like to be a part of this and help launch it across the nation and then the world. So you said you, uh, you wanted to be a part of it. Comment a little bit about that. Yeah, I do believe that. Um, I think the biggest wasted uh, energy source in the world is the sun shining down every single day. It's uncaptured solar power that can be harnessed and, and that has not been economical to date because the price of lithium has been too high. Mm -hmm. That barrier has been brought down exponentially over the last four or five years um, because of the fact of battery storage. Um, so I believe there will be a lot more uh, adoption of renewable energy uh, with the form of energy storage for when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow. Well, uh, can you tell about everyday problems? Yeah, you know, the people that come to the show are, are the people that have to wake up every day and make sure the lights turn on, uh, the street lights work, um, you know, the, the fountains are on, and, and they don't get a lot of credit for that, right? They're, they're, this is not a glamour glory job. They're here um, to learn about what are things out there that are going to help them do their jobs every day. How many APWH, how many shows have you been to? So I've been to four. Um, our founder, Gary Danner, uh, has been uh, coming to this show for 35 years. And in our office, we have every poster you guys have come out with an APWA show, and, and every poster is up in our office. And, and believe it or not, his product came from people uh, like we just talked about that, that have to wake up every day and, and think of a new solution. And they've been asking for um, a multi-purpose piece of equipment that um, can take their utilization rate higher. They have stuff that sits and gets no use. He listened to that for 30 years. That's, that's what those people wanted. Um, and, and so finally, we're here the last three years and, and probably the next 15 years um, showing off what that product is that they've been asking for. So there's a message there, I think. Um, what would you tell them? Yeah, the world is changing uh, in a major way. There's, there's catastrophes and, and you know, horrific storms and earthquakes and, and things that uh, we're not going to be prepared for in the future. Um, and this is a place where you can come and see small businesses that have ideas and things that they can learn about and be exposed to at this young age. Um, automation and autonomous vehicles are coming. Um, all electric vehicles are coming. Um, all those things you can find at APWA year in and year out, and there's more of them, and I guarantee you next year there'll be more of them, and the year after that there'll be even more. Yeah, I would. Uh, you know, waking up at 3 a.m. to, excuse me, to uh, uh, an earthquake or a storm system that just knocked out uh, main, main Square's streetlights. You want to get up at 3 a.m.? Because I don't. And those guys do, and they don't get any publicity. They do it all for the job. They're not there for the money. Um, they're doing it for a purpose, and, and um, you know, that's why we enjoy coming here and talking to those kind of folks. Would you say that those folks are unsung heroes? I would say those folks are absolutely unsung heroes.